Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today I'm going to take some old light fixtures and turn them into solar chandeliers. Let's get started. I found some of these light fixtures on Nextdoor.com, Facebook Marketplace, and at thrift stores. And for this project, I'll be showing you some solar light options that you can use. With each solar light, you're going to need to remove pieces because you won't need them anymore. I start by removing the plate that holds it to the ceiling, and then I also remove the wire. Next, you'll want to decide what kind of solar light you want to put inside your fixture. For this particular fixture, there are four possibilities that you could use. A large solar light, a medium solar light, a small solar light, or a color-changing solar light. For this fixture, I see two possibilities. A small solar light where you pull the base off and it fits inside the fixture like this. Or a large fixture where you pull off the base and put it inside like this. One of the reasons I'm opting for the large solar light is so that it fits on top of the glass and will allow for less water to get inside if it were to rain. Now let's move on to the second fixture. And once again, I'm going to remove all the pieces that I don't need anymore for this fixture. I had to pause for a second as it rained and then I was able to continue. For this chandelier, you could again use a small solar light or a large solar light, or you could put a color changing solar light. These happen to be umbrella clipped solar changing lights that I use around my yard. Once again, for this one, I'll be using a large solar light as it will fit better into the fixture and it will stop water from going in. For this third fixture, the same pattern, removing all the pieces that I no longer need. Now I noticed this top piece would collect water, so I went ahead and flipped it upside down so that it would no longer collect the water. And again, you can use a variety of solar light options, but I'm going to use the large one so that it fits snugly into the glass. And now we're on to the last chandelier that I have. I started by removing all of the light bulbs that were left in it, as well as all of the glass pieces. I then removed all the extra pieces that I would not need for the chandelier. Now some of these chandeliers had chains and you're welcome to keep those as you might need them to hang a little bit lower depending upon where you're gonna place them. For this project, I used these medium solar lights that I found at Walmart. I pulled the base off the solar light and then I used silicone to put inside the fixture and then I placed the solar light into the silicone and into the chandelier fixture. Now I just have to let you know that the glass pieces that came off the last chandelier I'll be using. I'm going to pull a small solar light off the base, place it inside, and I'll be using them around my backyard. Now let's take a look at all of the solar chandeliers hanging up. You can hang them outside on a shepherd's hook, maybe in a tree, under a gazebo, on a porch, or a deck. For indirect sunlight, the solar lights will last about a couple hours. In full sunlight, they'll last several. And here's a look at them in the evenings, and I absolutely love how they turned out. Another great place to hang one is in your garden to keep the critters away. I have a few others that I've made in the past, and they're hanging on our front porch, as well as in our backyard in a gazebo. Where would you hang yours, and which one of these is your favorite? I hope this inspires you to make some solar chandeliers of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.